And Jamie, you've been in Granby all day today. People getting out are really concerned, of course, about what they're leaving behind. And while the winds have died down right now, we are seeing to the west of us flames just above the town of Granby. The sheriff says right now there are structures lost, but the priority is protection of life. And we talked to one man who, despite losing his home, worked to help fire crews through Wednesday night. And he says the fact that this was human cause is a tough pill to swallow. Got my daughter, my wife, and my mom and her family and good friends with us. Matthew Reed barely had time to escape. We got like four bags of clothes out of the house. Everything else is gone. He worked hard to build his home in Grand Lake. On Wednesday, it burned to the ground. It's been a little bit of a train ride for sure. Um, we've been in our house for 11 months. It took three years to build it and it's gone. Adding to the pain is the fact that it was human caused. Now it's cost. I don't even know how many people's houses, all my friends. This morning I heard 400 homes. Reed, along with her friend, helped local crews through Wednesday night who were running out of fuel. We took a trailer in my truck and we took approximately 1,000 gallons worth of gas and diesel to them to keep them going. Even the county public works director was there. Reed says he's a hero. He was up all night in a town loader going around pushing trees, down power lines, everything out of the way so the fire guys could get around and save one house to another. He still worries about those who stayed behind. His neighbors, an elderly couple, are among them. Their house was destroyed. The fire chief confirmed that he got there with the help of the public, public works director of Grand Lake and the, one of the town loaders, and uh, it's gone. The basement's gone. Now, the sheriff said today there have been no reports of injuries or loss of life. If you need assistance with shelter or anything of that nature and have been impacted by these fires, the Silverthorne Rec Center is open, as well as the Isle of Capri Casino in Blackhawk, where Red Cross are standing by. Live in Granby, Jamie Leary, CBS4 Mountain Newsroom.